Welcome back to my channel. What's on the menu today? Well, I have a special guest here that's uh, making what? Glazed ham. And she's going to show us how to prepare it. While the ham have on plastic, she's going to take it off and she'll take it over from there. So, uh, as mentioned, I'm going to be making a glazed ham. I have here my pan with parchment paper, my ham, and I have my glazed ingredients, which is consists of one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of orange marmalade, I have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, I put like a little pinch of cinnamon, brown cinnamon, because I don't want to put cinnamon in it, and a little bit of orange juice. So I'm now going to go ahead and unwrap my ham. As you can see here. And then I am going to wash it. And I'm going to wash it with some lemon juice. Normally I would use lime, but I don't have any lime. So I am substituting with lemon juice. So as mentioned, I am about to wash this pan. Normally I would use lime. I think I don't have any lime, so I'm just using a piece of parchment paper. I'm just rubbing it down with some lemon juice, just like so. Washing it down with some lemon juice, every nooks and cranny. Flip it over, lemon juice all the way. And then I need up, then I need up. I'll just pour the rest of this one here. And then just gonna wash it all off. Mentioned this ham is already cooked already. That's right. So I've rewashed my cutting board so the clean ham can rest on it. And now I am going to slice it. Just like so. Just to get those cloves in the creases, that's my purpose of kind of slicing it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my cloves. Still slicing. And I'm gonna take my cloves and I'm gonna Stuff the ham with it by just getting it in the pieces, like so. Not sure how many cloves it's gonna take, but I'm told the more cloves you have in it, the more flavorful your ham will be. So, loading the sucker out of it. So welcome back. So I have cloaked the ham as you can see here. So I'm now getting ready to place it into my pan. As I do that, I am going to cook it in some pineapple water. So that 
and all that and juices uh, cook out then it'll be mixed with the pineapple so, and now I'm getting ready to put it in the oven so I'm now taking the ham placing it in the oven you can see we've got a turkey going on there too as well coming two birds in one stone and we'll wait for it to cook for about an hour. Be back. On the ham. Looking good. I'm gonna take some of this uh, juice and moisturize it. With a traditional saying, base it, base it. It's really good. do I'm gonna take it out glaze it with that glaze that I did earlier by just pouring it I gotta be very gentle because I don't want the clothes to come out so I'm just gonna tap it while it drizzles down are you gonna put pineapple slice on it yes I am Patient, my friend, patient. Just tap it like so. Let it continue to drizzle. Make sure I get the back as well. Run inside. Get a ball in there. Close in there. So I gotta be very gentle. disturbing the clothes so now guys I am getting ready to put last but not least the ingredient of the show which is the pineapple which I'm having difficulty and my husband is laughing at me but whatever you know what Okay, so moving on to my pineapples. Got my two picks here. Let's bring this over here. And I am just going to toothpick it. You know how it goes. So, put it in here. Go. One that happened right there, look like a melt. Could make a happy face too, but ain't nobody got time for that. There we go. So guys, is that looking good? Leave a comment below if you love this video. Yes, please. cherries but couldn't find any or somebody didn't buy any couldn't find any or somebody didn't buy any so I'm just going to improvise 
like I did with the lemon juice or lime juice. So I think this is probably going to be the last pineapple that I can put in there. It's not a really big pan as you can see. And guess what I'm going to put on there because I ain't got no cherry. I am just going to break it like it's hot. Did you hear that? Break it. Break it like it's hot. When you got lime, or when you don't have lime in this case, you need lemonade. See how this turned out with just the grape. It would be nice to have the cherries just to give it some color. However, it is what it is. So guys, I'm going to put this back into the oven. And we'll see what happens. I'm supposed to put it on grill. However, hubby is using the top grill. So... We'll see what happens down below. Okay, so, ham is done. This is the finished product. As you can see, it's nicely glazed. As mentioned before, I did not have any cherries, so I decided to use some grapes that I had. And if you've never roasted grapes in the oven before, this is what it looks like. Then I decided, oh, it still needs a little bit of color. So I had some cherry tomatoes and this is what you call thinking outside the box and voila. There it is, our glazed ham, ready for Christmas dinner. Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate this guy here. Let me come on and I'll demonstrate my race. Merry Christmas to you guys.